Welcome back. We are now a legat. Oh, a legate. Would you and your Praetorian guards spar with my Contiburnian? It would be an honor. How long have you been with Legio Victrix? Not long. The Legion was assembled just for this campaign. But I've served under Turius Orestes and other legions. How long has it been? A bit more than a decade? You must be one of the best fighters in the Legion. Would you consider joining my Praetorian Guard? <laughs> I'm honored that you ask. But teaching suits me well. There's nothing quite so satisfying as to take wide-eyed young men and turn them into soldiers of Rome. Oh, uh, this is important. Should we f spar with him? Does it open new opportunities? I mean, I don't want to waste time. That's um, close enough. Yes, yes, yes. She doesn't want us. Finding out her secret. Oh, the army will be destroyed. We have less, less than 1,200 soldiers. Your legion is now ready. Capture the outpost near Mithilene. To, uh, to deploy your legion, press left alt to enable highlights. If you haven't already, then click on the icon labeled Mithilene Garrison. Ah. Okay, let's attack Mithilene Garrison. The mission's information window shows the mission's difficulty, supply cost, and how long it will take. Since this is a battle, the Legion will lose men on the mission. As the game progresses, you will gain more ways to chip the odds in your Legion's favor. For now, your only option is to attack. Click the attack outpost button. Choose Legion. 2,700? Oh dear. Army morale. That's not good. We have no experience in battle. The enemy have 1,500 strength. Oh dear. Mission underway. Now. Okay. How do we pass time? Ah, okay. Legio Victrix attacks Mithilene rebels in the Mithilene garrison region. Resolve battle. Choosing your commander. The first step of a battle is to choose which centurion should command it. Different outcomes are predicted for each centurion based on their class and their command specialization. Make your choice based on these predictions. Insubordination risk is based on the approval of the centurion. Insubordination can result in loss of resource or men going missing after the battle. Well, why is this realistic? This is a game. I want to win easy battles. <laughs> High legion morale can outweigh commander's low approval and vice versa. Success chance shows how likely a centurion is to win the battle. Survival chance warns you how likely a centurion is to survive uh, the battle. Win survive. You want these numbers to be high. Manpower retained and loot amount are ranges of probability. The further to the right, the better. Ooh. The larger bar means more uncertainty. Oh, the further to the right, the better. Loot. Okay. So, um, in terms of 100%, 100%. Oh, that's perfect. We would lose 10% men, but loot a bit of stuff and subordination risk. So, of course, we're going with Marius Fronto. 100% survival chance. No risk of insubordination. Perfect. The men are awaiting your orders. Oh, each phase of a battle starts with the selection of a strata game. When you hover over a strata game, its predicted effects will be shown in the numbers in the top bar and the strength. Battles are inherently unpredictable affairs, and the strata games available to you each time are randomly drawn. To expand your options and upgrade your strata games, construct a workshop in your outpost and assign a Praetorian to it. Huh? Strength bar. 
This bar shows your legion's strength against that of the enemy army. Whoever has the most strength left at the end of the battle will win. Strength also changes throughout each phase based on your chosen commander's traits and the changes get bigger with each passing phase. Scatter threshold. <laughs> I can't see anything. It's a bit buggy. I guess we're talking about this. Shows the point at which the enemy army will completely be completely destroyed. Aim to reduce their strength past this point, but the remaining forces will flee to join their allies. So, weak center. Leave your center weak to lure the enemy into concentrating their attack there, then envelope them with your tactical reserves. Minus 30% enemy defense. Plus 10% enemy aggression. We can also extend it line. Deploy your mana balls in a single line that extends beyond the enemy's formation. A cautious formation that protects your flanks. Or we can go with maniple channels. Leave open channels between your maniples to direct enemy heavy cavalry, chariots or war elephants away from your infantry. Bold but risky tactic. They don't have elephants, so we're going with the extended line. Yeah, that's, that's not worth it. Artium Latius Extendite! Our ranks have reached the enemy lines. Ah, engagement. We can charge. Command your maniples to charge the enemy line. This bloody engagement tactic will inflict heavy casualties on both sides. Or we could throw Pila. Yasite Pila! As soon as they are within range, order your legionary to who hurl their Pila at the enemy lines before rushing in to engage. That's perfect. Just a bit less defense, but 200 men dead. Or 100 at least. Spread out. No! Throw the Pila! Ah, if you can push your advantage, you will be able to deliver a devastating blow to their formation. Hmm. We can divide and conquer. Exploit the chaos in the enemy's ranks by dividing their forces into several smaller groups that can be easily defeated in detail. Enemy manpower down. But loot range decreases. We could send forces our equities. Hmm. We could hold our position. This could be a ruse. It could be. We're not going to charge our cavalry in. We're going to divide and conquer. I 
expensive of this is interesting. Victorious. Choose how you wish to follow up on your victory. We can celebrate. Allow the enemy to retreat. Nah. We could show mercy. Apprehend injured or stranded enemies. While ensure that no further harm will come to them. Some may accept a commission within your legion. Or give chase. Press your advantage by overrunning the enemy positions and cutting them down as they flee. So they will not live to fight another day. I mean, they are—they have less than a thousand two hundred, twelve hundred. Um, only forty will join our ranks. That's not worth it. So let's celebrate. Yeah, celebration is worth it. We definitely need morale. Zinite milites exultare. The day is yours. If your enemy's manpower was reduced enough, their army will now scatter. Otherwise, they will retreat to join the nearest army ally to them. Spoils of war. You may have earned some tribute, the loot your people have claimed from their fallen enemies. If so, reclaim your rewards before you proceed. Manpower and centurion status. You should also take a moment to look over the screen to see what changed during the battle. Pay special attention to your legion's remaining manpower. And check if any of your centurions were killed in the fighting. So, we've lost 472 men. We've gained 7 army morale. And we gained 40 army experience. Stratagems used has successfully occupied the region. We have received 0 slaves, 0 denarii. The enemy forces were utterly destroyed. Are oh, you seeing this? Soon. Soon. Very good. Discuss the siege of Mithelene with the Primus Pilos of Legio Victrix. I just want to charge the walls of Matilene and cut down every last Greek within that city. If what I Domine. What, they have nothing to say after such a glorious... That's odd. Well, let's talk to Primus Pilos. To simple men, conquest seems trivial. You, on the other hand, recognize the intricacies of such an operation. The gods favored me thus far. I only pray that it may continue. Fortuna favors the bold, they say. We have encircled Matilene, but we still need to take the city itself. Archelaus is an arrogant man, but nevertheless, a skillful general. can't conquer the island because of a tiny little village? It's a problem we occasionally face. I will sneak in with my closest people through the harbour gate again like before. The harbour is filled with burnt shipwrecks. No Triarchus could get through all the debris. I know one Triarchus who might. And he owes me a favor for sparing his life. Ah, the man with whose ship you came here. Good idea. Geminus has a reputation as a highly skilled navigator. 
As always, we are ready to march on your order, Legate. What's that? Oh, here it's the Eagle of Rome, but... Ah. Praetorian Colors. Oh. Oh, okay. Praetorian Emblem. Oh. Of course, we're going with the Eagle. Colors. A Praetorian. Okay, all Praetorians will have a yellow color. Our Legion will have a blue color. Wait, do we need to select each color? Okay, let's see. Legion colors and then bluish tone. Legion emblem. Ah, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Our Praetorian emblem. Will be that. A Legion emblem will be the eagle. Uh, trophies. A trophy on display in your personal tent and in your villa in Rome. So we can get to Rome later. Oh! I like it. Please excuse me. That's close enough. Okay, let's talk to Geminus. Where is that dude? Anyway. Is he here? I guess we have to return to our first base. Well, console is. All is well, I hope. My friend, I'd heard you'd been made Legatus by the Consul himself. It is an honor to have hosted you on my galley. You said that I should come to you if I had need of a skilled navigator. And I meant it, wholeheartedly. Please tell me how this humble Triarchus can be of assistance. We are mounting an assault on Mytheline. I want to sneak into the harbor, but it is filled with wreckage. I can do that. It's the least I can do to thank you. Listen, my friend, I feel compelled to come clean. Your friend the gladiator was not wrong about me. I had given our route to the rebels of Lesbos. Since you spared my life, I've laid awake every night racked with guilt. I wish I could make myself deserving of your mercy. Um... Mm. Now is your chance to earn forgiveness. Get us safely into Mytholene and we can all put this behind us. If that's all it takes, I shall consider myself twice blessed by the gods for your magnanimity. I will prepare the ship at once and sail to the north of the island. Meet me near Mytholene and I will do the rest. Alrighty. So let's attack. Though, let's see that... Ah, uh, that's, that's not our tent. Just curious if we can replenish some troops before we attack. Must bring specific characters. Yay! <laughs> what a surprise. 
Ah, your closest companions will never leave. But Praetorians can. It's the end for you, Archelaus. Yield, if you know what's good for you. Oh, great and terrible Romans. Thank you ever so much for your mercy and consideration. I have been trembling in fear of your arrival. Should I fall on my knees and beg for my life? Lay down your arms and you will be treated fairly. I assure it. You assure it? Well, that already makes me feel better. And who told you it's fine to interrupt a conversation between two adults? Watch your tongue. You're talking to the commander of Legio Wittrix. <laughs> this young boy is barely fit to command a traveling band of jugglers. Did you really think you could challenge me here, of all the places? This is my island now. You Many are nothing but a nuisance. Have the same opinion before. We are all dead. This is your final chance. Surrender, and you may be spared. I am not like the others you have faced. In your arrogance, you thought you could sneak into Mytilene's harbor a second time and take its commander's head. Predictable and pathetic. You are at my mercy now, just as I planned it. After I kill you, I'm coming for your consul. How dare he? How dare he? Reduce Archelaus' forces to five to make him surrender. Or kill him. Hmm. Well, that's a strategic choice. I mean, they have a lot of archers up there. Oil barrel. Well, that's not good. Mm. I mean, a lot of people there are damaged. Yeah, we, we, we're going straight. Straight forward. Displayed as gold bars at the end of character health bar. What the heck? Every bar of armor reduces health damage taken by one point. Certain special characters, such as Archelaus, have so much armor that you won't be able to damage them and all until you shred it. To shred a target's armor, attack them with a two handed weapon, a pike or staff that has armor shred. Okay. we moved uh, past him that was stupid okay
Barely fell. Get over there! Advance! Good. Kill the archers, please. Help me, and I shall help you when you are in need. Please follow my finger. Yes, you'll be all right.
I yield. Cuz you Romans. I know when I'd beat. Well, well, well. You don't sound so smug and superior any longer, Archelaus. I thought a bit of banter might rile you up. Cause you to make a mistake. I clearly miscalculated. Much as I would love to jam a Pugio up this bastard's... Well, he would make a fine hostage. His head would make a fine trophy. Calm yourself, Tabad. Calidus is right. We'd better bring him back to the camp alive. Dominus, let me oversee the escort. Sure, Senelos. Be safe. I'll see you soon. I'll be careful. I don't think there's any danger of reinforcements. Shall we make our way back to Lucullus' camp and let the Consul know the battle is won? Uh, let's just catch our breath, uh, breath first. I mean, these fallen soldiers could hold gear, right? Good idea. I'll wait here. Just let me know when you're ready to leave. Arcus. Coins, long. Huh? Good. What else do we have? Okay. Assassin's Cone. Oh. Nice. What else do we have? Common wine. A bottle of common wine of no particularly impressive vintage. By itself it is unremarkable, but add herbs, honey or raisins to create a more potent drink. Loose medical medicinal herbs. Coins, coins, coins. Oh, there's a chest over there. Toxo. Dagger, food. Oh, schematics. Princeps equipment. Nice. Coin dash. Oh. Corinthian helmet. Nitro. By applying a specific alchemical process, this mineral can be turned into a powerful oxidizer for the creation of explosives. Nice. Doru, assassin garb. Mm. Let's get the chest. Did he just jump down the building? <laughs> okay. He's a show off. You don't need to cower people. The might of Rome now guides them. <laughs> guides and protects you. Aspis. Huh? Pilo's helmet. And a big coin box. Good. Cephas again. Strong armor rings. Okay. I mean, our biggest problem right now are ranged units just shooting our unarmored people. Corinthian helmet. Okay. Nice. So, I'd say we're done here. That was a lot of loot. Corinthian helmet. Oh, 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 that's a good one. It even has health. And dagger. No, we don't need daggers. Achilleus saw. Oh dear. Reducing pe extra slashing damage. Applies bleeding status to your target. Which deals damage every turn. Well, that's good. Let's do it. 
Um, what else do we have in terms of equipment? Shield is better on paper. Base damage 3 to 7, 3 to 6. And we have extra bludgeoning attack. Yeah. Oh dear, that looks not like a Roman soldier, but it has to do for now. 3 to 6, 3 to 7. Yep. Helmet. Mm, yeah, that's a better helmet. Oh, that's a better helmet. Field? Yep. Um, how about gear? He could use a helmet. Armor. Movement. Minus two, nah. Bestial. Assess him, coal. Mm -hmm. Movement. Well, okay. Resistance. What is that? Plus four. Oh, that's better. What about our female soldier? Yeah, that's it, I guess. We can't give her another weapon. Toxo. She doesn't need no. Oh. Critical. Oh, accuracy. Extra piercing damage. Oh, that most definitely is an upgrade. Yeah, we can't give her a helmet, so... Okay, that's the end of our episode. See you next time!